Hey you guys, it's Toya and thank you for watching Toya JTV. Today I want to go over three professionally proven ways to grow your edges back in six months. So a lot of the times, um, you know, we may have thinning edges or no edges at all and growing your edges back really depends on what happened to them in the first place. So for instance, if you have always had thin edges, no edges, or you've never had any at all, then these methods probably will not apply to you. Um, if you are, if your edges have come out due to um, certain medications or age, hormones, things like that, they may or may not be able to grow back. If you've actually just damaged your hair, like you, you know, been wearing weaves too tight or your braids been too tight or something like that, nine times out of 10, you can definitely grow your edges back. All right, so we're gonna jump right in. The first thing that you want to do is stop putting so much tension on your edges, okay? So like I said, if you've had braids that are too tight or you get sew-ins a lot and you get pulling on your edges or if you pull your hair back in a ponytail a lot, uh, you put a lot of heat on your hair, all of those things are what can cause the edges to come out because the edges are the most fragile part of the hair. So doing those things on a consistent pace, consistent basis will cause the, the edges to fall out or get thin. So if you stop doing that, then it will allow your edges to grow back. So I'm not saying don't get a sew-in, don't get braids, don't do ponytails, but don't do them all the time, okay? So, for instance, if you're getting a sew-in, like when I do sew-ins in my salon, I leave the edges out, and I do that on purpose so that there is hardly any tension on them at all because what you want to happen is you don't want to become dependent on whatever protective style you're using because you have no edges. So, and when you're getting braids, you always want to tell them if they're too tight. If they are too tight, tell them that is too tight. Make the person take that down and redo that until you should not feel uncomfortable at all. If you're feeling uncomfortable, that means there's too much tension on your edges. With the ponytails, you want to try to switch it up and not put your ponytail in the same spot every time and don't make it super tight. So a lot of times, um, like if you're seeing your face lift, See how my eyes go up when I pull? Like if you're pulling that tight on your ponytail, it's gonna cause your edges to thin out. So you do not wanna do that, okay? So the less strain on your edges, the better, all right? Moving on to number two. Just say no to hair glue, that is. So putting a lot of hair glue in your hair and then taking it out is what causes your, is another thing that can cause your ends to come out. So. That's why I don't do any kind of extensions, weave services that include glue. Because a lot of times, especially if you take it out at home, you just rip it the tracks out. Okay, so as you're ripping it out, it's almost like pulling a band-aid off of your skin. You know, some of that hair is gonna come out. And if you always get your hair glued in, you always are pulling the tracks out, you always gluing, pulling out, gluing, pulling out, gluing, pulling out your edges are gonna eventually come out, okay? Um, the rest of your hair will come out too, but the edges will be the first to go because as again, they're the most fragile. So, just say no to the glue. You can get your hair sewn in. You can even get just a few pieces sewn in. You don't have to get all of it sewn in. Like if you wanted to look more realistic, you can get like a piece sewn in throughout with your regular hair. All you have to do is just braid a section and then sew the hair onto that. Okay, instead of doing the whole head, there are you could do clip ins. There's a lot of other alternatives other than glue. All right, so when you stop doing that, then you'll see your edges start to come back. Okay, number three is to stimulate the blood flow in that area, and that area being the edges. Um, the most effective thing you can do to grow your edges back is to stimulate the blood flow because stimulated blood flow. Uh, makes the hair grow faster. So you can do it um, most of the time by just massaging your temples or get somebody else to massage your temples, but just gently massage your temples. That helps circulate the blood flow in that area. You can also use things like, um, I have a product in my line called the Silky Growth, Silky Regrowth Oil, and you can put some gently around your edges, 
or take the oil of your choice. It really doesn't matter. Um, but you want to use one that uh, stimulates hair growth and then you just massage it in. That's what I did to help grow back my edges. My edges came out due to postpartum alopecia. And I mean, all around here was super thin. Like right in here, there was no hair. And on this side, right in here, there was no hair. It's filling in quite nicely. It's not back to 100% yet. But all of this was super thin. And like right here, there was nothing. Okay. So... And with postpartum alopecia, you just kind of have to let it grow back on its own. There's really nothing that you did. You know, you just had your baby. That's the only thing you did. You didn't do anything wrong. It's just a part of it. You know, the, when your hormones are out of whack, that's another thing. Your hormones get out of whack, it can cause your edges to thin and fall out. But um, what I'm talking about today is like specific things that you've done to damage it. Like um, if it's something that you really didn't have any control over, like for instance, if it's hereditary, no one in your family has edges or you never had any edges or, you know, you're not just going to wake up one day and, and you have edges. I'm talking about people that have done a specific action to their hair. They have caused their edges to come out. These are three things that you can do to grow your edges back. Okay. All right, you guys. So I hope that helps you all. And I will see you next time on Toya JTV. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and comment and rate the video. Thank you all for watching. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.